Hi everyone, this is Nat Levy with Geek Wire. We're here in Las Vegas for CES on a rainy Tuesday morning. Uh, I'm here with uh, Arima. We're in the Smart Life Roadshow trailer. Arima, tell me a little bit about what we're going to see today. Well, thanks so much for visiting us, Nat. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the Smart Life Roadshow brought to you by Intel and Amazon Alexa. Uh, we uh, travel with this program coast to coast to showcase the very latest in conversational artificial intelligence. Uh, and we're excited to share with folks here at CES about how they can integrate some of these smart home experiences into their life thanks to Intel and Amazon Alexa technology. And uh, we um, are featuring a lot of uh, compatible smart home devices, as well as, um, of course, the original Echo devices. All right. Well, you got a few things to show us. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, All right. Let's take a look. Off here in the office, uh, where we feature our HPPCs. We actually are um, excited to share with folks at CES that the HP Pavilion is going to be released and announced uh, here at CES. It is um, fully Alexa enabled, so now that you're able to actually speak to your PC and have Alexa respond, so I can show you a couple of examples. Alexa, what's on my shopping list? You have three items on your shopping list. Orange juice, eggs, bread. Alexa, what's the weather today? In Las Vegas, it's 49 degrees with showers. Today, you can look for rainy weather with a high of 58 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. So very cool, mm -hmm. and um, that's that going to be again announced here at uh, CES. Um, and then over here, we're really excited to share about the Sonos One, uh, the Sonos speaker that has full Alexa integration as well. So not only do you get that full Sonos uh, home sound, but now you can have you can speak directly to the speaker to send music to different areas of your home, as well as control uh, compatible smart home devices. For example, Alexa, lock the door. Locking. Hang on. So you can see the compatible Schlage lock will lock it here in a moment. And now we're trapped. <laughs> yeah. Um, Let's lock the door. And thank you, Alexa. And moving on, uh, we do have a selection of third-party devices, all of which are Alexa-enabled, uh, starting with the Ecobee 4 thermostat and moving on to things like the HTC U11, the Logitech Ultimate Ears Blast, the iHome Alarm Clock, the Eufy Genie, and finally the uh, C by GE Soul, a modern desk lamp plus clock uh, that is fully Alexa enabled. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, so over here we have the Amazon Echo Show. This is the first Echo device that is um, uh, Intel based. Um, it has a video screen, so now Alexa can show you things in addition to tell you things. It looks like it's watching me. Absolutely. <laughs> it can see us here in our uh, uh, Airstream, but it uh, is connected currently to our Logitech Circle 2 wired or wire free camera. So it offers a convenient stationary security monitor to keep a secure uh, eye on different areas of your home. It's also a wonderful kitchen assistant. So you can pull up recipes uh, and do things like uh, unit conversions, timers, and most importantly, quickly call mom as well. Um, and finally, over in the entertainment area, we have the, uh, the Echo Dot helping out, us out with showing something a bit more complex, how you're able to create customizable routines and groups that allow you to control multiple devices to respond to a single voice command. So I'll show you a couple of those. Alexa, turn on TV time. So you'll notice a few changes happen in the ecosystem of okay. our smart home, including the Lutron shades lowering, the Philips hue lights dimming to your color and hue that you've uh, customized, and your entertainment system powering on and getting ready for your viewing experience. Uh, because of Alexa's compatibility with things like the Logitech Harmony Remote, as well as the Dish Hopper 3, you're able to take care of all of those basic remote functions now with the power of your voice. And uh, so when you're all finished for the evening and heading off to bed, you can get your entertainment system ready for the evening with something that we call a routine. Alexa, entertainment off. And with this, you'll get all of your media turned off and ready for the nighttime. Um, okay. And 
The next group that I'd like to share with you is going to get the remaining parts of your smart home ready for the evening. So this is a grouping that we call Good Night. Alexa, turn on Good Night. And with this, you'll notice a few other changes happen in the rest of the Airstream, including the remaining blinds lowering, the rest of the lights okay. going down, uh, your doors locking, and your uh, thermostat resetting to your nighttime temperature. And you can bring everything back to life the next morning just as easily with our final group that we call Good Morning. Alexa, turn on Good Morning. And with this final uh, group that you'll see that um, the blinds will come back up, the lights turn back okay. on, and even your electric kettle is starting to heat up water thanks to that Belkin Wemo plug. So these are just a few of the types of integrations that you can include uh, in your life today on your journey towards a, some like to call it, a smart life. Um, and we truly appreciate you guys uh, coming and visiting us here at the Smart Life Roadshow. Great, thanks for having us. Again, this is Nat Levy from GeekWire here at CES. Uh, stay tuned for all of our coverage throughout the week and follow along at uh, hashtag GeekWireCES.